Hello folks, this is Jerry Callan for Starbets.ie. I'm with Jim O'Sullivan who holds the distinction, well everybody knows that Kenny Egan has 10 Irish titles. Jim O'Sullivan from Wexford also has 10. So a fairly obvious question, well Jim I remember last year, when, early, sorry earlier this year, when Kenny was going for his 11th, which he didn't make obviously, but you telling me yourself that you, you hoped your own record was beaten. That's right, Jerry. I did. Um, uh, for me, I think Kenneth Egan is a fantastic boxer and I think he deserved 10 ch 11 championships. Um, records to me don't mean anything, even though it's nice to have 10 championships. Um, for the 10, you know, for the years that I went up to see the championships after I won my own 10 championships, I never saw anybody that was likely to win 10 championships until Kenneth Egan came on the scene. And in, the, in you know from 2001 onwards, I saw him win all his championships, and you know one after another. And um, I thought to myself, this guy has a chance to go and break my record. And before he went into the ring, actually, I was down in the dressing room with him, and I said, Kenny, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you go and win this 11th. This was last February. That before was the, that the Joe was last, Ward fight. Yes, that was last February, before the Joe Ward fight. And uh, I said, to him, I hope you win it, and the very very best of luck to you. And uh, he um, he took it as you know, nice, gracious. He took it and he said, "That's not a bother, Jim." I, and I really appreciate you saying that to me. And that's actually what he said to me. And uh, but I really meant it from the bottom of my heart. I, I would have been happy to see him winning the eleven championship. You know, uh, even though being a joint record holder for the, you know, I thought that's nice as well. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't have minded one bit, Jerry. Wouldn't have minded it at all now. I know, know you're you're very much a boxing loyalist. Like you're you're a regular in the stadium up from Wexford, championships, everything, and all that. Like, can you remember the first time you came across this guy Kenny Egan, or the first time he struck something with you? Uh, I think it was the 2005 championships. You know. Uh, he was boxing light heavy, but he was a very classy light heavy. Now, I, fans, I, uh, myself, I thought I was a classy light heavy too. Uh, and he had a nice style. He had, a, he was a counter puncher, and like I was a counter puncher, and he was a southpaw. I was a southpaw. He had everything, and I used to compare myself to him at times. I used to think, I think I'd still handle him if I was boxing, you know. <laughs> but, but I even say that now, <laughs> so, so that's a pure myth. But. Um, you know, yeah, he caught my attention and I knew he was going to keep doing it. Um, at the same time, you know, as it kept getting closer and closer, he had nine, he had eight, he had nine, he had ten. I thought, yeah, he's definitely going to get the 11th, you know. And I did actually expect him to win the 11th last I year. I think we all did. I did honesty. expect him to win it and uh, and uh, I was shocked when he didn't, you know. People say, were you happy? Uh, no, I wasn't happy. Uh, I'm not like that. I'm a boxing fan and I want to see progress. Mm. And 11 championships would have been progress. What he's done is fantastic, regardless if he, you know, ever wins nothing else. Um, and he's a real nice guy, you know, and like he's been on the verge of everything. So uh, greatness is just around the corner, I think, for him again. So please God, it will happen for him. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jerry. That's